Hi, my name is Mike, and this is the premiere episode of Grease Week, which is essentially a food blog based on some great places to eat around LA. The unique part is, I'll be riding my bike to each place. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. I'll be the camera guy too. So if you're familiar with LA, you know that it's kind of a trek from Santa Monica to Pasadena. So we're gonna make our way out of Santa Monica, through West LA, through Century City, through Beverly Hills, past West Hollywood and Hollywood, through Silver Lake, going somewhere with this, I promise. And finally, to Pasadena, where today's theme is going to be getting our fix on Route 66. Now, Route 66 starts in Chicago, but as you saw on the bike ride montage, Pasadena is far enough. And our first place that we're going to eat is Lucky Boy. Located on a Royal Parkway, Lucky Boy is famous for a certain menu item, which is the reason I rode up here in the first place. Okay, so this is the Lucky Boy breakfast burrito. I just rode from Santa Monica to Pasadena. It's pretty big, but I'm really hungry. I'm gonna take some measurements, and then I'm gonna eat it. Now let's break this down by the numbers. A Lucky Boy burrito is 8 inches in length and weighs in at 1.6 pounds. Its measurements are 9, 9, 9, it likes walks on the beach, and it's a Scorpio. But in all seriousness, look at it next to my phone, giving you a perspective of how big it actually is. And while it's not necessarily heart smart, it's still a serious way to start off your day. And while my little flip cam was not able to pick up the detail, with the still camera you can see all the cheese, all the bacon, all the glorious grease running from top to bottom of this awesome breakfast burrito. And when you factor in its size and deliciousness for $5.45, it's a great deal. I searched the dining room and found a guy with a unique way of eating his Lucky Boy breakfast burrito. To grab a knife. Knife. And you knife the Thousand Islands onto the lovely plateau of breakfast burrito. <laughs> then drench with salsa verde like so. And then, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then there are great offerings that you can't even find on the menu. I found this out thanks to Frank. Are very special. <laughs> no, they are. That's a, a patty melt on rye bread. Now that's just not a regular patty melt. No, it's a double. <laughs> it's a double. Custom made. Yeah. <laughs> Custom made. And that's a secret. That's a secret menu item. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, I hope you enjoy your patty melt for the rest of the week. <laughs> Health food in disguise. Health food. Disguised like un under a shroud of cheese and yeah. butter and grease. Yeah. <laughs> Iceland all the way. Grease? Yeah. We, we, that's gravy. Gravy. I'm sorry. Gravy. <laughs> this really puts my breakfast burrito to shame. After a great breakfast at Lucky Boy, it was back on the road on a Royal Parkway slash Route 66. But you won't go far until you hit a snag in the road. It gets to follow Route 66, but unfortunately, Route 66 turns into the 110 Highway. So we're just gonna we're just gonna have to go around that and uh, try to detour our way through until Route 66 turns back onto another surface street. Okay, here we go. Oh wait, we'll stop the train and then we'll go. Commuting in LA means dealing with traffic, and construction compounds this even more. Thankfully, we can cut through all this until we reach the bike trail, and everything seems to slow down. The Arroyo Seco Bikeway is definitely a welcome sanctuary from the daily grind. Fresh running waters, the wonderment of nature, is all here in this serene setting. Like a salmon that's lost its way, we're going downstream. But unlike the salmon, we know exactly where we're going. We're going downtown to our next destination. And we're tracking Route 66. To the right of us is the 110. 
And this bike path is the perfect way to commute through the city. No traffic, no cars, no obstacles of any sorts. Just a really cool view and scenic way to see everything. But when the pathway ends, we're back on the streets, traversing our way through neighborhoods, boulevards, and avenues, working our way downtown, and blazing our own trail until we can hook back up with Route 66. LA certainly has its share of surprises, but one thing you can count on is almost every day of the year is going to be a great day to ride the bike. And knowing that lunch is just waiting around the corner is all the motivation I need to keep on moving. Okay, so that was a really cool ride, and now we're at a great place to eat lunch. Phillies, let's go check it out. Philippe's is most notably known for their French dip sandwich. But unlike every other diner and restaurant that gives you the au jus on the side, the proclaimed originator of the French dip comes sans the au jus. So I had to ask why. Is this the original French dip sandwich? Yeah. We're so original. Why don't they do the au jus on the side? We've run out of au jus. You would run out of au jus? I see. Because it's made from all the meat. Uh-huh. If we gave it to everybody, I see, so it's like a hot commodity. So you have to savor your au jus. That's right. Uh, well, I will savor it. Thank you, dear. Enjoy your bike ride. Thanks, Teresa. It's cafeteria style, so you'll have to make your way through the crowd and sit down wherever you can. It's a good way to get to know people real fast. So how's the chili? Good. How's the turkey sandwich? Delicious. And the, and the pork dip? Oh, so luscious and tender and flavorful. I love it. <laughs> you're, like a, you're like the spokesperson for Philippe's. I know. <laughs> Philippe's is infamous for their super spicy mustard, so use with caution. I gotta say, it's too bad that there was no au jus, but the meat was tender enough, and they do dip it, so it was still a great sandwich. They've got good sides. Teresa recommended the macaroni salad, which was a good call. And a 65 cent iced tea is a good way to wash down an affordable and delicious lunch. Philippe seems like it hasn't changed much in the 100 plus years of operation. And I gotta say, I think that's a good thing. Okay, so we're back on Route 66. Basically, Cesar Chavez turns into sunset and Route 66 jumps off the 110 on the Sunset Boulevard. So here we are. We're gonna take this street to Santa Monica Boulevard, which is gonna take us to our final destination, straight to the beach. I can't wait. Basically, we're retracing our steps from our earlier ride down Santa Monica. We're going back through Hollywood, Beverly Hills, Century City, West LA, until we finally get to Santa Monica. See you at the crossroads. See you at the crossroads. Okay, so we're kind of at a crossroads right now because we're at the corner of Lincoln and Santa Monica and Route 66 officially splits off and ends at Lincoln and Olympic Boulevard, but it's kind of anticlimactic because there's no real commemoration or anything symbolizing that it ends there, so it's kind of a lame ending. The more fitting ending is at the end of Santa Monica, there's a little plaque of Will Rogers commemorating the end of Route 66. But the most symbolic ending is at the pier, and that's where we're going, and get something to eat. Big Dean's is a hot spot at the base of Santa Monica Pier. It seems as popular now as it was in old timey days, and that's why it's been around for so long, I guess. Their menu claims that it's the burger that made Santa Monica famous. I asked the server about this, and he had no idea why this was the case. I guess it's not really important. What is important is, everything down by the pier is jacked up in price. But the Big Dean's Burger is still a pretty reasonable deal. The only issue is, it's a tall burger. It's got a high center of gravity. It's kind of like the SUV of burgers. Uh, yeah. But it's still as good now as it probably was back in old timey days. Good times down by the pier at Big Dean's for sure. 
Okay, I had a great time today, met a lot of great people, saw a lot of great places, and the bike riding really counterbalanced all the foods. Just going to show you that you can have your cake, and breakfast burrito, and beef sandwich, and burger, and eat them too. Thanks for joining me. See you next time on Grease Week. Thank <laughs> you.